Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special... Hey, y'all, Chuck here in Top Unknown Thailand. Hey, today I want to do a video about the top 10 most asked questions uh, about Thailand. Um, I've been living in Thailand for a couple of years. We've been vlogging just about every day since we, since we landed here. Um, I try to do uh, quite a few Q&As to, to answer some questions uh, about life here in Thailand. Um, answering questions in Thailand is very difficult because uh, Thailand is a very Savai Savai country and everybody's experiences tend to be very different than others. There are rules and regulations in Thailand, uh, but life is easy here uh, as long as you're not creating your own problems. Uh, Thailand is a very easy, simple, happy place to live. So I just want to go over some questions that were asked and try to answer them to uh, the, best, the best way that I can. Let's start with number 10. Uh, the first uh, question is cash or credit? I get this question asked a lot, uh, I guess because mostly in the Western world we use credit cards just about everything. Uh, in Thailand, cash is what's used mostly. Um, when you go to the markets, when you go uh, to restaurants, when you're buying clothes, food, it's all dealt in cash. Uh, the only time that you'll be using credit cards is to reserve hotel rooms. Uh, some uh, restaurants accept credit cards. Uh, all major department stores in the malls, they all accept credit cards. Uh, they will charge you a 3% fee to use a credit card uh, in most places. Uh, my recommendation is to get a few bucks at the airport when you get to the airport, uh, just to hold you over until you can get a better rate at a better exchange, money exchange booth. Uh, but uh, cash is king, they will not uh, have credit card machines in most of the markets and then most of the vendors don't uh, don't carry that so cash is the way to go uh, you can negotiate also with cash I tend to not try to bargain on one item shopping if I'm buying more than a couple of items that's okay so song it tell I mean how much song Roy has it uh, most of the time they will offer you a discount uh, on the price but typically the, the stuff that you purchase is extremely cheap compared to what you can buy uh, from back home so um, yeah a lot, and a lot of times when you when they do offer credit cards they will offer you a discount uh, with cash uh, next question number nine food poisoning uh, food poisoning uh, gets asked a lot about uh, my experience when I first came to Thailand, did I get sick? Uh, I will say that I've been back and forth to Thailand quite a few times, and I would say every time I came, yeah, I've got a little bit of dose of food poisoning. Um, I chalk it up to uh, being that the food here has a more uh, bacteria in it than we're probably used to back home. Everything's got the uh, Everything to protect us, I'll just say, back home in the States. And when we get here, we don't have enough good bacteria in our bodies to fight it off. But it doesn't last that long, a uh, couple days, and then you're good to go. But what I always recommend is bringing uh, activated charcoal or medicated charcoal that you can buy anywhere. And you can take this stuff uh, daily, and it will, it's the same stuff that's used in water purification systems as charcoal. So. Uh, you can take this as a preventative, uh, or if you think you may have eaten something that didn't quite go well. But uh, it's not 100%, uh, but it does, uh, it does work pretty good. Uh, I also get the question asked about ice in Thailand. Is it safe to drink the ice? Um, Thai people don't drink water out of the tap mostly. All the restaurants, the vendors, they have ice and water brought in. Ice and water is extremely cheap. Uh, you can buy a 12 pack of water for uh, about 35 baht, which is about a US dollar um, typically. So um, the ice is purified water that's brought in. Um, it would. <laughs> the thing about ice and food poisoning, if a vendor is selling uh, bad food or bad ice, 
uh, they won't last very long and, and they really depend if you don't sell or you don't work you just don't eat in Thailand so it's very important for them to sell quality stuff uh, number eight can I get by without speaking Thai I would say that uh, Thai language is very difficult it's a tonal language there's five tones one word can mean five different things depending on how you say it and a lot of times we're not able to twist our tongue good enough to be able to say all five tones. So uh, it is very difficult. Uh, I do recommend learning at least five words before coming to Thailand. I think it'll make your life a little bit easier. Really in any country you should show respect by at least learning a few words uh, and some culture also uh, in that country. Um, but um, found that in most places that I go to, um, there's, Thai, there's English speaking people. Not only that, but you can hire a tour guide for little to no money uh, that can guide you around to uh, places that you want to see and, and things that you want to do uh, very easy, easily. Number seven, is it safe to travel alone in Thailand? I get this question asked a lot by females. Uh, it is a great question to ask. My reply will be that uh, I would say 90% of the women in Thailand are single. <laughs> um, it's the strangest thing, but typically uh, women over the age of 30 have a couple kids and they're single, and really they prefer it that way anyway. But um, uh, I would say because of the Buddhist culture and uh, karma and all that, it's a very safe place to be. Uh, that being said, you know, if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, of course, anything can happen to anybody. I think most incidences to tourists happen late at night, three in the morning, or in full moon parties and stuff like that. And uh, so you just really need to be aware of your environment, be courteous to others and other cultures. Um, a lot of time people create problems their self. Uh, usually by misunderstandings, which is easy to do because Thailand culture is completely different than Western culture. Um, so a lot of it, a lot of the arguments and problems are because of miscommunication, but extremely safe in Thailand. Next question, number six, medical in Thailand. The medical system in Thailand is awesome. People come to Thailand for all kind of medical needs, uh, whether it's uh, hospital, dental, cosmetic, stuff like that. It's very easy to pay cash in Thailand, and of course cash you get discounts. Um, there are awesome major uh, hospitals here, Bangkok Hospital, there's many um, private hospitals in usually every major uh, province in Thailand, and all have exceptional care um, no problems. You can go to local dentist office and get the same quality dental work as you can in a major hospital. In the major hospital, dental work is available also. So uh, if you do have an accident, uh, you don't want to wake up with a huge disappointing bill. So it's beneficial to go online and do a little bit of research and you can buy uh, insurance for really cheap for good coverage. Number five, bank account in Thailand. This question is usually asked uh, from people that are planning on living in Thailand. So um, it's a tricky question. The problem with, uh, with facts in Thailand is uh, everybody has different experiences. Then you may walk into one bank uh, and ask for a bank account and walk out 30 minutes later with an account. And the next person may go in there and have a list of things that is required of them to be able to obtain account. So the general rules for obtaining a bank account in Thailand is you must have a long-term visa, uh, you must have proof of residence, and you must have somebody that can sponsor you, uh, a ranking official in your province. Could be a teacher, could be a police officer, uh, could be your landlord, could be some, somebody of importance in your, in your area that can represent you and sponsor you. That's not always the case, but uh, that was my case. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story on mine. I came here a few times 
as a as a uh, a tourist, I have a Thai wife, and my plans were a move to Thailand eventually. So, uh, as far as the visa rules, you have to have some money in an account in Thailand uh, to be able to obtain a visa. So I thought I would just get an account over here and send some money a little bit at a time while I was living in the states. But when I get to the uh, bank to do that, they would not let me get an account because I was only there in a, on a tourist visa, even though I was married to a Thai national. So they told me that uh, my wife could open an account there and uh, I could send some money back and forth. And then when I came back, I would, all I would have to do is show proof of my visa and get added to the account, no problem. <laughs> When I finally got all of that done, uh, you know, I, I had to check into immigration and immigration wanted me to show that I had uh, the funds in the account the first time for 30 days. Uh, the second time is 60 days. Um, so I needed to get, I had a couple, I had three months to obtain a, uh, a bank account. So when I go there, of course the story changed. Uh, they asked me uh, why I needed a bank account. Uh, why I was asking for a bank account without a work permit, a bunch of strange questions and asked me to go fly back to Bangkok and get a couple affidavits. Uh, it seemed like a very difficult task uh, to try to get a bank account. So the girl recommended me that maybe I should just go to Bangkok Bank uh, because I won't even mention the name of the bank that I was at. So, you know, I was upset about it a little bit, so I go to Bangkok Bank, and sure enough, got an account. wasn't the easiest thing, but I got the account the uh, the next day. I had to get a teacher to uh, to uh, sponsor me, which was no big deal. She just had to show her ID and then sign a piece of paper. Got a bank account, so I go back to the bank account where I had my money in that we had been putting in for three years, and uh, I put a bag on the table and tell my wife. Tell them to put my money in the bag. <laughs> it was such a good feeling to do that. So they're like, huh? So they didn't realize that I had over three million baht in that account. So uh, all of a sudden, it's okay for me to get an account there. The manager comes out and says, what's the problem? I'm like, no problem. I just need my money, put it in this bag, you know? <laughs> the girl got in trouble, I feel bad for her, but the problem is, is that Thai people don't like to lose face. So when they don't really know something, they'll tell you something kind of off the wall just to brush you aside. That's something you're going to have to get used to in Thailand. Um, what I suggest is when you know what you need to have for legalities, go in there and always expect to have something else. Uh, you may go back the next day and have no problem, or the guy behind you who went in uh, had no problem. It's just the way it is in Thailand, unfortunately. But I did get my bank account successfully. Number four, visas in Thailand. Um, there are a lot of websites on the internet that you can search for different types of visas and the requirements to obtain those visas. Uh, the best thing to do is to get your visa in your home country. The typical visa scenario, let's just call it a retirement visa, um, you'll get a 90-day uh, visa from your country and then you'll come to Thailand, check in, and then you have to uh, do the processing to get your one-year extension in Thailand. You can get a one-year visa in your home country. In America, you have to go to Washington, D.C. Uh, to get your one-year uh, visa in America. I think it's a little easier in some other countries to get to obtain a one-year visa. I have friends here that they prefer every year just to go back to their home country and renew their one-year visa back there. It's easier for them because that's where they keep most of their, ink, their funds. Uh, but basically, retirement visa, you have to have 800,000 baht or be able to show an equivalent, be able to show an, a certain amount coming in a month. A marriage visa is half of that amount. Uh, they were doing a just a uh, affidavit in the UK, an American embassy. Just uh, you would go in there and raise your hand and say, "Yes, I promise, I have this much money coming in," and then they would stamp it. Uh, the the uh, Thai immigration asked those embassies to do background checks. Uh, they said it was too difficult for them to clarify that, so they both decided to stop doing the the sworn affidavit for having the funds available. 
but you still, all you got to do now is just bring in your, your pension or your social security or your documentation, documentations that prove that you have this money coming in and then you can still get the, uh, the affidavit. Uh, you don't have to bring all your money into time. You don't have to have 800000 bought in an account because some people are retired military and get money coming in every year. All you've got to do is bring that document to show that you have that money coming in. A lot of people don't know about an elite visa. This is an official Thailand visa option. Uh, this is for people that have money that may be under the, the required age uh, for... Uh, retirement visas, maybe they're not married to a Thai. <clears throat> All it takes is some money. I'm going to share this official website for you. You can purchase a family elite visa package. Comes with a lot of crazy benefits as well that you can search on. I think like spa packages and uh, all kind of all kind of things. Um, but basically, you know, you can just get this a million baht can get you a visa for a 20 year visa and then it's a 10,000 baht a year annual fee. But anyway, this is an option uh, to get in Thailand and I'll share that website for you. And a lot of people don't realize that you can get this uh, elite package uh, visa. Number three, do I need to make hotel reservations? This question gets asked a lot. And of course, because that's how we do business back home, you know, and it's easy to uh, to go online and make reservations and uh, just use your credit card and go from there. But in Thailand, it's never a problem to find a place to stay in Thailand. There are lots and lots and lots of places to stay, uh, you know, depending on where you want to go in time of the year, obviously. But my recommendation is to make your reservation for no more than a couple of days and then look around the area and you might find something better or might find something less expensive something in an area that that you wish you would have went to to begin with so you can go on the computer easily to google maps and just do a little bit of uh, visual research you want to be by the beach do you need to be by a shopping area a certain road um, you can look at prices of the hotels right there on Google Maps and if it's in an area that looks appealing to you you can click on that and do some research on the hotel and you know you can look at I don't always trust the comments on these because a lot of people's needs are <laughs> they really expect to be extremely comfortable in Thailand so they and they complain about the noise or they complain about the bed being too hard or the TV or the channels on the TV or the food stuff like that so but you can look at all this information on the a lot of the hotels have the websites that you can go to their direct website and on that you can click on here and get prices from different uh, companies like Agoda you know stuff like that um, and then from there you can reserve the room with a credit card usually no problem and then you can print it out in English a lot of times you can print it out in Thai also Making reservations is easy in Thailand, but it's not necessary. Number two, 90 day check-in. Now the 90 day check-in only has to do with people that are coming here on a one year, with a one year visa or the one year extension. Everybody must check into immigration every 90 days. Uh, if not, there is penalties involved uh, by not doing so. I'm going to share an official Thailand website with you. This is not a, 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 a Thai forum uh, with everybody's experiences on how things should be done because that's when things get real confusing in Thailand. Uh, when you're trying to talk about facts, uh, especially people that have been here a long time, they're used to doing certain things their way and they think that is the only way. And when somebody says something else, even though you're showing it on video, uh, to them it's not factual. So in Thailand, it's very difficult to pass on the facts. I will tell you that in every immigration office, you may have some that think differently and expect different things from you. Uh, but I will share the, e the official Thailand website that explains in detail how to obtain visas how to extend your visas, how to do your 90-day check-in. 
Um, a lot of people feel like they have to go across the border uh, every 90 days to pay a service uh, and then come back and everything is done. Uh, I will tell you the easiest way to do this uh, is to just let a law office handle everything for you. Um, it clearly states in the Thai website that you can have a represent have a person represent you uh, for all your uh, visa needs in Thailand. Uh, as long as you're paying this official company to represent you, they can do your 90-day check-in, they can get your bank accounts for you, uh, they can handle your visa extensions, they can do everything for you. To me, for very little money, that's the easiest thing to do. So, but it clearly states in there also, and I'll share the website for you and show you, all you have to do uh, is go online and you can check in your 90 days online. You just go to the web page, you read everything, you accept, uh, and then you put in your information uh, and then you can print it out at the end. That's an easy way to do it also. But um, it clearly states the, op I don't know why they put on here all the different types of immigration offices, because on the bottom it says just uh, multiple immigration offices through Thailand that you can go to. It has to be an official immigration office to do your 90 day check-in. But you, you must, in order to do this, you must check into immigration and let them know where you're staying at. Uh, you need to have either the landowner, uh, the manager, hotel manager, somebody that represents the place that you're staying with. Uh, they have to come with you and you have to fill out this form. The form also can be done online too, uh, but this has to be done prior to you checking in to your 90 day going to immigration because in your book, you're going to have, in your passport, you're going to have this form stapled to it that has your address. And then when you check in, they just want to make sure you're still at the address. But when you go outside the border and cut back in, these things are usually never asked. They just ask where you're going, what hotel you're going to. Um, and then it's easy for some people because they don't stay um, in certain places for long periods of time. Um, I've always gone to Nakhon Phanom Immigration and done my 90-day check-in. I have a marriage visa, and I, I've never had to leave the country to do that. <clears throat> However, I have left the country several times, and even though I still had 30 more days left on my 90-day, when you come back across, you get an uh, instant extra 90. Uh, it starts over 90 days. Anyway, I'll share the website to that. You can read it yourself. And this is an official Thailand uh, website, not Thai Forum, Thai Life, whatever.com. Uh, this is a Thai official site. Number one question asked uh, about Thailand is, how much does it cost to live in Thailand? What is my budget? How much money do I need? This is the most asked question and the most difficult question uh, to ask a stranger because I have no idea uh, what your needs are in life. Um, I don't know what kind of housing you want, what is your, um, what kind of entertainment, what kind of food. It's very difficult to answer that question. Um, I did put a simple video together to break everything down in groups and budgets. Uh, it's a pretty simplified video. I hope you watch it, I'll share it with you. But a lot of people tell me they have a couple thousand dollars a month coming in, U.S. dollars, and that's plenty of money. I would say, you know, uh, upper class, maybe a doctor or lawyer is going to make just <clears throat> under 100,000 baht a month. Um, that's about 3,000 U.S. dollars uh, a month coming in. So uh, you can live, in my book, you can live pretty good on $2,000 a month easily. It can be done with a lot less, but it just depends on your quality of life that you require. So that's the number one question that I get asked. Watch the video. I think it'll help you. Anyway, keep the questions coming. Thank you for asking them. Um, I hope I can answer them in a way. I know a lot of people uh, they also reply in the comment section and share their experiences. 
uh, which is very awesome. So Thailand's a super easy place to be. Everybody's so worried about the logistics in Thailand and the, and the complications between the immigration and the banking and all that stuff, but really just laugh it off and it all works out eventually. Um, this is, to me, so much easier than living in the country that I come from. Um, dealing with the bureaucracy over there is overwhelming a lot of times. I don't need to give you a lot of examples. I'm sure you have your own. Uh, but to me, Thailand is very easy. And like I said, the most simple thing to do is when you touch ground, you can go to a law office and they'll do everything for you. Uh, I'll give you a website that you can look at and you can speak to an attorney prior to coming to Thailand and let them handle everything for you. A lot of people do that in Thailand, especially the ones that don't speak the language or they're not married to a Thai person or have Thai family here in Thailand. So uh, it can easily be done yourself. Don't stress out about it. I think in our Western culture, we, uh, we like uh, everything. You know, if this is the way it's supposed to be, that's the way it needs to be. Uh, but it's not like that in a lot of places in the world. And anyway, just relax. Come here with an open mind. When you don't understand something, just smile and come back later. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Uh, if you like it, please hit like. Um, please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of videos. I think uh, we have over 500 travel videos in Thailand and a lot more coming. Uh, comment and uh, share. And I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.